Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna to be making another air fryer recipe for you. We're making air fryer keto biscuits. This is a super simple recipe, very delicious. And I personally love using the air fryer. This is ours, it's the Ninja brand. And it's a smaller version, I would say, than probably what most people have. It's perfect for two. So Matt and I use it pretty frequently throughout the week. And uh, we're gonna show you how to make some quick biscuits. To get started, we're gonna put two tablespoons of butter in a microwave safe bowl, and we're gonna melt that down really quickly. So to our melted butter, we're gonna add two tablespoons of sour cream. I love having sour cream on hand. I've been just adding it to a lot of my meals, eating it as a side dish basically to any meat I have, but it works really great in baked goods, mug cakes in particular, bread loaves, because it adds a nice moist texture to it. It won't be too like wet, but it'll give like a nice good final result. So we're gonna add two tablespoons. And then we're also gonna add two large eggs. And then we're gonna give that a quick whisk with a fork. That looks good. And then to our wet mixture, we're gonna add one cup of almond flour half a teaspoon of baking powder, nice pinch of salt, and our ticket to taste town, some white cheddar cheese. So this is gonna act as not only a binding agent, but it's gonna make these cheesy and delicious and add some salt as well. So we're gonna do a cup of it. Yours doesn't have to be white either. It can be yellow, that's totally fine. And then let's give this a mix. All right, so this is your final result. As you can see, it is very loose. It's almost like creamy. Probably you're thinking like, this is not gonna work. Thinking the same thing. We're gonna give it a try though. So there's a couple options you can go here. In the bottom of ours, we've put parchment paper down. This is gonna be the easiest route for most people. They have parchment paper in their house. These are also an option. These silicone cups, this is probably gonna be like your best bet, having a cup form to put it in so that it doesn't spread. And then also, if you don't wanna get these silicone ones, you can get parchment paper cups. We actually have some of those as well. And as long as you have that cup shape, it'll keep the biscuit together, you know, not let it spread. We're gonna give this a try and show you how this turns out. We're gonna do smaller biscuits. So you could do five large biscuits or nine to 10 small ones. So we're gonna go with the small ones since we have a smaller air fryer here. But first let's get it preheated. I think that'll help in the process of not letting these spread. We're gonna preheat this uh, at 400 degrees for about two to three minutes just to get the heat circulating. Do you think the parchment paper is like flying around in there? All right, so first things first, this is preheated. Second thing, a little tip, wait to put the parchment paper in. Because the air fryer, like it flew up and it just burned on like the, uh, the heating coils. So uh, we're still gonna use it, a lot, like, a lot like indoor skydiving. Yeah, a lot like indoor skydiving. Let's pull this out. Let's put this back on. Okay. And we're gonna use a cookie scooper here to just make little biscuits. Not even. Four. We're gonna pop that in and we are going to cook these. The small ones you're gonna to wanna to cook for six minutes. It's been five minutes, we're gonna take a little peek ski. So it looks like they're actually done. Um, so we're going to stop there and pull these out. Remember, it's all gonna be very hot. You know what? They're still super cute now that they morph together. I actually like that, yeah, right? in a good way. Yeah, they're like almost like pull apart biscuits. And so that'll be fun for your family, for your friends. So I would say these are perfect. Like they didn't come out wrong at all. These are really cool. And I would just make them like this for ease and convenience, but these are also widely available in stores. They're parchment paper cups. So we're gonna try some with these so to see the difference. All right, we're gonna pop these in. 400 degrees, five, five minutes. Been five minutes. Let's see what these are looking like. Ooh, those are cute. Look at this little chunker. So there's the difference. Not too big, right? Either way you go, like you're not going wrong. But I'm gonna give one of these a try since they've cooled. Oh my God, they Break look- Break it apart with your hands. Yeah. They look so cheesy mm. and they're moist. Maybe a little undercooked, but I'm fine with that. Mm. 
Mmm, I'm gonna make these all the time. Okay, wow, I'm really impressed by myself right now. They are so soft and dense and like real bread texture. Like, uh, I don't know, I feel like when you sit down at like a nice fancy steakhouse or something and they bring out like the cheesy bread, this is what they're bringing out. It's almost, you almost get like a cheese it flavor too. Perfect air fryer biscuit. You can whip these up. It takes five minutes to make these in the air fryer. So you have the perfect side dish, perfect, um, midday snack for your kids right after school. And you can fill these with like fresh rosemary, fresh thyme, garlic. You can just go crazy with the additions, the flavors, probably even make some sweet ones. Do you think that would be good with the cheese? Mm, no, that is good. Okay. I need like mozzarella cheese. Yeah. Oh, you could do mozzarella cheese and that might make, that might be a good uh, cheese if you want to go a sweet route. Let us know if you try that. These are a winner guys and super easy to make in the air fryer. Linked below in the description is exactly how to make these step-by-step step, and we'll give you all the options, the silicone molds, the parchment paper molds, and then just plain parchment paper. And you're gonna wanna make these for dinner tonight.